whole strategy was, you know, we never, the whole point of kind of you know, um, leaving kind of big corporation uh, was to have our own freedom. And we felt it was very restricting to go down what was at the time, you know, a popular route to raise seed funding or VC funding, um, this sort of thing. So it certainly added much more pressure for us to fully bootstrap uh, the entire company from, you know, what we had at the time. And so one strategy that we used to avoid having to dilute ourselves was instead to fund the company by, uh, by consulting for other organizations, other corporations. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we would end up doing, you know, uh, basically technology consulting and mm -hmm. development and engineering services for across a whole bunch of industries, uh, every, all, for, all the way from, you know, big names like uh, Verizon or Sony Music or mm -hmm. uh, Teach for America, these sort of things, mm -hmm. all the way to very, very small companies. Uh, even though ostensibly we were all, all in and working on Vimly.com, <laughs> <laughs> recreational activity platform. That, that's okay because the 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 broken things at large companies, you know, offer huge opportunities for that's a it. company such as yourself. And that's exactly that's exactly it. Um, that's what got us thinking about. Hey, uh, you know, we're doing all this work for mm -hmm. other companies, and they're and these are established, mature companies that right. somehow are deriving value from the intellectual property, from the technology that we're building. Mm -hmm. um, that's really incredible. You know, how how could a, such a small company like us really have made a difference? And so it really occurred to us to really zoom in on this yes. and recognize that what we did had, had value beyond Vimbly.com. And so, uh, you know, after, you know, a stand you know, Chris, to Chris, Chris, before you go on, don't don't forget your point. But there's something there about lar these large companies looking to you as a, as a startup and a small company to help them solve some problems that can unlock, you know, further growth or, or remove friction, whatever the case may be. And I, I, I can't help but wonder, I don't know how prevalent that is in the world. It's perhaps not talked about as much as it actually exists. But I can't help but wonder if more large companies took advantage of that, where you had the mix of the entrepreneurial vision and eyes to see the gold bricks that the corporations just step over or trip over and never see on a day-to-day -day basis.